Audio is on. Hopefully there's actually audio this time. Microphone symbol was red, so we're good. Okay? So let's just get into this. The sad truth about Melontown cobblestone miners in the late 1800s. Oh god. When did this get freaking WTF? No, it's not supposed to be like that. Why the hell isn't this doing this? Why the hell? Okay, I guess that's what we're doing then. The truth is, in the Cobblestone Recovery Act of 1889 in Melontown, the miners that mined cobblestone were not treated fairly. They were often extremely poor and received very little pay for their work. Their pickaxes were often dulled, and as punishment for not recovering their daily stack of cobblestone chunks mined, they would be executed. I don't know why the pickaxes not colliding with anything even though I didn't click disable collision at all. This is an autosave. Autosaves tend to have some messed up ass shit. Whoa! Mine's often collapsed. Ugh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This one miner just barely avoided one collapse that was sure to be fatal if he was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Whoa. Okay. I only have a few more to do. This is my daily stack. I can go home again. One thing you must know about this miner is that he missed one cobblestone the other day and left one chunk unmined. The boss hadn't noticed yet, but he was sure too soon. His boss, Trevor Watson, a very dangerous man that didn't take kindly to mistakes. Okay. Just need to gather these all up. Look 
Levi Johnson was one of Trevor's best miners. Okay, now I can get on out of here. Cars had just barely arrived back then and looked a lot like this. Oops. There we go. Then just do this thingy real quick. After mining trips, after a good miner's day of work, they often hit the bar or just go home. Some of them are really lonely. The lack of roofing on cars did not prevent snow from getting in. So miners were cold even in their cars. And many could not afford warm clothes. Oh shit! Shithead! What the hell? Bruh. My screen is like fr What the hell? I he's immortal? What the fr What the hell? Okay, let's go into another auto save and see what the hell's going on. Let's see what we're up against here. Okay, what we really need to do here is this. We need to put one of these in.
All right, time to get out of here. Um, what the hell is going on? Okay, I guess I'll just accept it then. Oh, shit. That's what's happening. I thought these were... Okay. Okay. This is what's going on. Okay. So now I understand... What the hell is actually going on? I thought the cobblestone pieces were supposed to be. Debris. be in for some serious bullshit unless of course I do this we'll just save it as LL I can't copy it because that's part of another thing that I'm doing LL stand up dude Stand up and do the goddamn thing. There you go. And now we're gonna delete this save. And we can turn this thingy off. Levi, what's up? Heard you new you just bought a new uh, cobblestone bar top for this counter thing. Uh yeah, I did. Well you know who worked their ass off for you to be able to buy that? Oh shit, I forgot, I keep forgetting, man. Boycott buying cobblestone. I remembered, I just didn't. I can tell I worked it off because it has a little tiny imprint of a cut where the pickaxe cut. And I can tell that was my pickaxe because mine's the only one that has a little dull edge markings on it. They were supposed to replace mine weeks ago. I've been breaking cobblestone with my head like a freaking 
Barbarian. <sighs> One bottle of beer, please. One bottle? Got it. So how's the uh, pub business? Oh, well. Your coworkers are a lot of my best customers. Really? Nice. Hello, please don't do that. Please don't do that. Please don't do that. Can I please just do this? And get this to not do that. There we go. the hell there we go freeze that so then that can't do that um I didn't want to freeze the hand no thank you what the hell's going on with my phone bro bro what the hell is going on there we go there we dude oh my god Sometimes this game is just so freaking annoying, bro. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Anderson. Uh, don't worry. I'll get you a bottle of beer right away. What the hell is with this man's deal? This man is a very important man to my bar. He's one of my platinum customers. 
What is he a platinum customer? Well, I mean, <clears throat> he did kind of save my pub from a shooting, so I like to pay people back for their kindness. Let's see how we're we gonna do this. Okay, comically, we're gonna do this. Oh God. Oh please. The hell. Come on, sit, bro. Bro! There you go. Do that. Do that. Holy shit. Oh my god. Why did I make these hold the ball? Why? Why in the hell would I ever make these hold the ball? That's a stupid thing to do. Very stupid thing to do. Thank you for your service. So, uh, I hope the seat isn't taken. I'm not waiting for anybody. I appreciate your hard work in the mines, even though it's back breaking. Head breaking, more like that. Our pickaxes are so freaking dulled. We can't even mine with them. Most of us smash rocks with our hard ass heads. Anyways, I missed my daily stack the other day. Missed one chunk unseen. Boss hasn't noticed, but he will soon. and I'll be left right good nighted. Are you flipping kidding me? Oh my god. Just wanna like cover the back button, bro. Cover the back button, please.
Well, I'm gonna go back behind the counter now. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Please, no. Here. We'll do this. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Go here. Ah, shithead. Forgot to freaking pause it, bro. Someone's gonna pay. Oh shit. Somebody's gonna die tonight. Shit, Trevor. Damn it. There was a man somewhere in this god awful pub. A miner who did not break his full stack. One chunk unbroken. Men who start getting lazy are the men that get the bullet. Everyone thinks I'm a horrible, evil, sadistic, cruel man. And that might be true. But I give everyone a chance to get on my good side. Mine your stack and you're done. That's all you have to do. But when, when men start getting lazy, that's when I get real angry. So who broke only five? Who left the one chunk? If you reveal yourself now, no one else needs to pay for your transgression. But if you don't, well, this town's gonna have a hell of a lot of a bloody cleanup in this pub tonight. Tender. Y yes, sir, Trevor, may I get you a beer? Throw me a cold one, why don't ya? No, oh, pub tender over here didn't do it. He ain't a miner. He has a humble, honest living. Working. Owning his own business. I respect him. He's not lazy like some miners. I'll look at that at a later date. Who was it? If you don't speak now, everyone in this pub's gonna die. It's... It's me. Huh? What, what are you doing? What in the world? Shut up. Or you're gonna get a bullet. It's me. I did it. I was the one that left one stack, one chunk unbroken. Very well then. Thank you for being so honest. Yes. <gasps> Chris, no! What the hell?
see it work tomorrow, Levi. You're lucky someone vouched for you. Because next time, you won't be so lucky. For good measure. Oh my god! Holy shit! Please, I didn't do anything. Ten there, I already said you were clear.